The next step is about trifthongs. Now we come on trifthongs. As is show. In a word, tri means three. Here is the combination three vowels forming a single compound sound. They are, as you watch on a screen here, a sound. A sound. As in fire, you notice that it glides three times. Fire, tire, fly. The next uh, trifthong is a, 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 as shown in the word, play, may. The third one is I sound, I. Words are loyal, royal. The fourth one is our, our sound. The word in between, in the middle, you watch uh, just like you, that is U sound, short vowel. We call in in uh, transcription, this is a short vowel, but you must remember at our sound. The words are our, our, power, tower. The last one, the fifth, is our sound, our sound. The words uh, start with lower and we do. Uh, you can watch them with the symbols um, and words and some pictures I have uh, printed it for you. Here are the symbol, our, again we practice it. The flower, our, shower. The next practice is lay, may, play, mayonnaise, mayonnaise. The next practice is lower, follow, mow, we do. And the next, loyal, royal, Soil, employer. I put you in for the practice as I have told you before. This is the matter of your interest and your practice. When you read these words, these dive tongs, trive tongs, plosives, in any place, you must read them as I have told you. And that's how you can improve your spoken English. Now let's more practice about that. Now read with me. Power, peer, follow, we do, rare, fryer, buyer, shower, tire, lower, mow, loyal, toil. Now two uh, things are coming in there, not only dive tongues and uh, uh, Trive tongs, but as well, you are listening uh, plosives in them as the word is toil and uh, as the word is power. So, plosives are also coming inside. You must read them as you have learned in a first lesson about plosives and this lesson about dive tongs and trap tongs. Maya and flower. Now, dear viewers and listeners. Again, assertion is there. You must practice it. This is a skill. Spoken English is a skill, not a knowledge. Knowledge is about rules and about your learning of words and using them in on appropriate place. But this spoken is just like a skill as a driver drives a car and with the passage of time, when he drives more and more, he drives it quite easily. So when you speak mo and mo, following these rules, in, in a big thing, you've got a lot of, you know, difficulties while talking and while speaking these words. But believe you me, with the passage of time, you will improve to a magical level and your English will be corrected. You can't believe on yourself even. So don't forget to subscribe the channel. We will come with the next video you must follow and improve your English and its style.